it is time. I just received the new Rode Pro slow cooker and guess what guys? We're gonna test this bad boy out. Now the reason why I wanted to do dips is because a lot of times I go to van events where I am around a lot of people and they have these little potlucks and in a tiny space, sometimes a potluck can take a little creativity. But I was thinking that if I could create dips, that could be something that everyone enjoys, it's easy to share, and in something like this, I could literally take the whole crock pot over or just the little bowl and it would already be like a one-stop shop. So. Today, we're making dip. Now obviously before we do that, we have to unbox this slow cooker. It just came in and um, I think everything is going to be great. It's gonna be super, super fun. Um, I have a little story to tell though before we uh, start using this guy. You might have seen on a previous video, I tested this out after unboxing it and I found out that there was a little bit of a short. So I contacted Rogue Pro and I always recommend if you have any kind of faulty product to do that simply because sometimes that brings to the attention an issue that they might not be aware of. They immediately were like, yes, please send it back. We'll send you a shipping label. And they did that. So I received this one and now we're going to get it out and use it and see if this is the norm, if the amount that it pulls is the same from one cooker to the other. The other one was running anywhere between 83 and 94 um, watts per hour. So we're going to see if this is the same. Um, but I think this is going to be a great way for us to not only find function on the road with something that we could use, but also to test this product out and give it a fair shake. So let's make dip. Everything inside seems pretty normal. I did figure out that the little band itself is only designed when the lid is up side down to work so that was a my bad situation of course all of the items that are inside include just like your warranty book we have the crock itself and then we have the bottom which is the slow cooker portion everything's wrapped in plastic and um, then we have the little cord here the little cord of course has a 12 volt so we're gonna be doing some 12 volt cooking today which means I need to go find a power station now as always here on the channel I like to share different things that help me when I'm doing my van life travel if something ever is of interest to you I link it in the description of the video so you can find it easily don't feel pressured though if you're not interested it's okay if you're just here to stick around to see how I make a couple of different dips welcome to the club this is about to be fun For this one, we're only going to need three ingredients. We have our Melt Dip, which is very similar to Velveeta. It's just a generic version. I have Rotel, and I picked up the Mexican style lime and cilantro for this. And then I have one rotisserie chicken, which I picked up in the deli section. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cube the cheese. Then I will dump in the Rotel and I'm going to shred the chicken. I'm not going to be using the whole chicken. This is a lot of chicken, but I'm going to be using a sizable amount. So probably about two cups. Now I personally really like quick and easy things that you can prepare so that you can just like throw them in and then walk away. Now this is a 12 volt cooker. So basically what I could do is just plug this in while I'm driving down the road and it would cook this for me. And then whenever I get to my destination, I could just be ready to go. Or if I'm at a campsite, I can still still use this using a power station, which is how I'm going to demonstrate it today so that we can judge how much it pulls and then also how long it actually takes pulling that particular amount. You by no means have to use this on your physical vehicle or just on a power station. It can go for both of them. So with that said, three ingredients and we're making a chicken rotel. This is going to be so good. Of course, I'm just going to start out by actually putting my materials together though and um, you know, it doesn't take that long, but um, sometimes I'm struggle bussy. If you're struggle bussy like I am, leave a comment below to let me know what you struggle with. For me, it seems to be packaging and boxes. And with that, all I'm gonna do is just take a regular knife, slide it down the middle, create two logs, slide it down the middle of those again, 
And then I'm going to cube from here into little sections. Okay, into the bowl it goes. This is a step that you don't necessarily have to take. It's just going to make it more convenient because I want to be able to put my slow cooker onto my cutting board. I like to have a little bit of a heat barrier just so that it has ample time to cook, but also that I don't heat up my counters too much because, you know, I don't want to ruin my countertops by having something super, super hot sitting there for an extended amount of time. That's just me. It's personal preference. And uh, I noticed that on the other one, the bottom got a little bit warm, but not like so hot that it would melt something. So, um, you know, just precaution. Next up, I'm moving into the chicken and I'm just going to pull a little leg off of the chicken so I can start there. And I'll just end up taking all of the actual meat off and shredding it. Now, a little tip if you're not interested in deboning your chicken on your own, they do have rotisserie chicken at most grocery stores, and it's usually sold in a little container like this. However, something I've noticed is that those, because they've already put in the work, are a little bit more expensive a lot of times. So sometimes it's just a little bit less expensive to just get the rotisserie chicken, and then you can use it for other things. It also still has the skin on it, which I personally like because it gives it a little bit of a different flavor. And so that's my tip to you guys. But today's meal is going to actually be under $10 because we're using the rotisserie chicken instead of the pre-shredded. We are using the generic cheese instead of the Velveeta. And the Rotel, I, I definitely recommend just using the Rotel. It has a much better flavor overall. I've made this dip several different ways, but altogether, all of the ingredients under $10. And this could be a great thing to either eat solo, which, which that's a lot of cheese, or to share with others. Now, this also is kind of a different kind of meal because we could use it a couple different ways. We could use it as a dip if we're taking it to like a potluck or something, or if we just want a lot of cheese, or we could also take this and we could roll it into tortillas and then we could put it into the stove road pro and we could cook it like enchiladas with a little enchilada sauce. So that's a couple of different options for this one meal. And that way you can have, if you have leftovers purpose for it. I really like to have things that you can eat the next day in a different way. So you don't feel like you're just overwhelmed by it. Okay, now it's time. And I'm gonna start off by taking a slow cooker liner and I'm going to line the actual slow cooker. Now I only have these super large ones for my big slow cooker that's here at base camp. I am looking for some smaller ones though. So I think that they do make some for the mini crocs. I just don't have one. So this one's gonna be a bit big, but what I'm gonna do is just push it down and then pull all the excess over the sides. And then I can always tuck that back in just a moment so it's not on the sides where it's not supposed to be. So this is a good way to make sure that whatever you're cooking is an easy cleanup, especially considering that we can serve water while traveling. This is a great way for us to do that so that we don't have as much stuff to have to like scrub, especially when it comes to something like cheese. Okay, next up, I'm going to take my chicken and cheese that I already set up and I'm just going to kind of put it into the bowl and that's a lot. It's going to be super, super full, but that's okay. I'm making enough for a party, remember? So in theory, this would be enough to feed a bunch of people at a van life event. And now we're going to add the Rotel, which the only thing I don't love about Rotel is the fact that they don't have those pop top cans. And sometimes that's inconvenient, but that's okay. And now we're ready to make our queso chicken dip. This is going to be so good. So I'm just going to take it and kind of release it in there. And as things melt, we'll be able to push this down in there more. I'm now gonna take my small spatula and just kind of push everything down so that it's along their edges and not gonna be sticking up on the top. This will also help to kind of break up some of the monotony that's going on in there. It'll push it where the top is not gonna be touching the cheese or the rotel itself. And it kind of just evens everything out. Put the top kind of on it. And then what I like to do with my excess bag is just pull the excess bag up. It looks a little crazy, but it definitely works. And whenever I'm driving down the road, what I can do is I can actually take this and bungee the sides of it so that it holds everything in. This just keeps leaks from happening. This keeps extra like weird stuff from going on. It puts the lid in place while I'm driving and now it's time to plug it in. Today I'm using my Jackery Explorer 1000. Again, you can plug this directly into your vehicle also. We're just going to plug it into our DC port down here push it in really good and turn on the DC 
and then as soon as we do it takes it just a couple seconds before it starts to actually crank out watts okay it's at 72 watts right now for the overall output so again this is a little bit different than the other one i was using which is interesting it's starting out slow but um looks like it's quickly moving up so that's good we're getting to where I think that we optimally should be, which is between the high 80s and low 90s. Now, I'm not exactly sure how long this is going to take realistically, and that's why we're doing this video, just to kind of get an idea as to how many watts it consumes and also how long it takes. And so I'm going to set a timer for about 30 minutes, and then I'll come back and check it and see kind of where we're at, and then we'll adjust from there. Now, this is a slow cooker, so it's going to be slower than the Rode Pro stove. The Rode Pro stove gets very hot, very quickly. This one takes a little bit more time. You can also heat it up before you start the cooking process so it'll already kind of be ahead of the curve and that will take down your time just a little bit. But again today we're just testing it out so in 30 minutes I'll check back with you guys. Okay we're about 30 seconds out from the 30 minute mark and I noticed that when I looked back at the Jackery I started off at 99%. It's gone down to 94% now so I lost 5% of battery in 30 minutes using the slow cooker on a Jackery Explorer 1000. So I hope that that's helpful kind of to kind of figure out about how long that a Jackery would last for this particular model. Every 30 minutes we're losing 5%, which means we could go for a while. And uh, with that said, let's check this out. Okay, I'm gonna take the plastic down and move the lid. Okay, we have the spatula. And then I'm just going to move in. It is definitely melting at the bottom section. So I'm going to just kind of stir everything in so that it can start to really start cooking together. And oh yeah, this is definitely starting to melt in 30 minutes. So that's a good sign. That's a super good sign. So what I'm going to do is just pull from the bottom, pull up toward the top, and that will allow it to really start mixing all of that rotel in there and for this particular recipe again because i used the chicken the chicken was kind of on top so i'm gonna make sure that it's really spread throughout the creamier that this gets the more that will stir it but already we're doing pretty well for a slow cooker very pleased with this and i'm just gonna put the lid back on and again pull this all up so it can cook I'm going to again set 30 minutes on the clock and then we'll check it. Now you might be saying to yourself, I could cook this in a regular pan in a little bit less time. And yes, you could, but the whole purpose of the slow cooker is so that you can have something passively doing something while you're doing something else. And I really like that because especially if I'm at like a van event, I don't want to have to be standing in my back kitchen area cooking, cooking, cooking while all the action's going on. I want to be a part of it. So instead I could just plug this in and then go about my business and then come back and check it and just literally stir it and that's it. That's going to take away a lot less of my fun. Now, if you've never been to a van event before where they've had like a nice little potluck, they're super fun and I really like them a lot. In fact, my first potluck was actually whenever I went to Lollapalooza. Hi Lola, how are you? And um, it was so great. Um, it's a great sense of community where everybody gets to contribute something that they like or that they've enjoyed and seeing that is just like it takes you back to a warm hug of a family kind of. It's really nice and I really enjoy events that do have this particular feature. So again, this is why we're using the slow cooker. Now, if you are not a van person and you're watching this video just to get some recipes, this is an easy one for you to put in and then continue driving down the road if you're in your big rig. And it's super simple and it gives you something really, really tasty. The rotisserie chicken that we put in there is really going to bring out the flavor of the cheese and the rotel. And by using not just regular rotel and instead using the cilantro lime one, it's going to give it a little bit of a fun kick. I'm really excited about this. Okay, it's time. It's time. It just went off. And so now we're going to stir again to see if it's ready. Okay, this goes down. Ooh, it's looking good. Okay, it's not quite ready yet, but it's getting there. This is very creamy. And you can see now that the more that we stir, Oh yeah, that's looking nice. That is almost done. Just a little update over here. We're to 88%, still pulling about 88 to 89 watts. 
And so overall, we've lost about 11% of the battery. Again, that's right on track, about 5% per 30 minutes. So that definitely lets me kind of in my mind visualize, okay, if I'm using the Jackery Explorer 1000, that means that for every single hour, I am losing about 10%. So doing the math on that, that means I have about 10 hours that I can use the slow cooker on the Jackery Explorer 1000. And by that, you can do the kind of the math on the smaller and larger power stations. It just kind of helps you to see that, yes, you could use this on like a 240 or a 300 watt power station. You're just going to have a smaller amount of time to use it, which would be fine for something like a dip, but might not work out for something like a meat that you have to fully cook. So um, I'm going to go ahead and keep going with this. I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. And uh, I actually invited my dad to come up here and eat with me so I don't have like a whole crock pot of uh, cheese dip. But I am so excited about this. It's about to be so good. Oh yeah, this is about to be perfect. Look at this. Ooh yeah, this is awesome. Now I did just add a tiny, tiny bit of water because I think we're going to use this for nachos in a little bit. But all in all, this is a dip that could be taken for just about any kind of event or it could be used for a lot of different things. Now altogether, the Jackery went from 99% to 83%. Not too bad. Okay, let's make this. I am so excited. I just have some Tostitos chips here, hint of lime. I'm gonna open those up. And I have a little bowl, so I'm going to put a few chips in the bowl because I'm making this into like nachos. So I'm just going to layer a small amount on my bowl here. Not anything too crazy. There we go. Now then the cheese. Okay, I'm just going to scoop in. Oh yeah, look at that. The big chunks of chicken and rotel. And then it just goes over into the bowl. Oh yeah, that's going to be exciting. Do a couple of scoops in here. A little cheese fell over to the side. A little cheese never hurt nobody. On top, I like myself some peppers, so I'll put several in there. Let me just help myself out here. And uh, now the real test. Just gonna grab a chip. Ooh, yeah. Make sure I have one of these little jalapenos on top. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah. This is just a little bit spicy, a little bit limey because of the chips. Oh yeah, this is so good. I will make this way too often on the road. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Oh yeah.